Hello, welcome to Yoga Rachel and Rach, thank you very much for joining me. So this is week three of our Aquarius lunar themed practice. So we've had a go, we're looking at our Garunda Mudra, moving through a nice air flowing sequence and now we're going to have a little look more at coming back into, um, bring it down into the hips, a little bit more honouring that creative flow. So we're still moving into more of a fluid uh, water flow. And then next week we'll be going into the sacral chakra in honour of moving up from the root chakra into the sacral. So finding a comfortable seat, feel free to come back into that Garanda Mudra if that helps you to find that element of freedom, of movement, of fluidity, as well as the movement. It, air and water has that very same sort of feeling. Obviously one's that little bit heavier, uh, but they still have that softness and that sort of force behind them as well. So find that comfortable seat if you wish to. You can place the hands into the lap or on the thighs and knees or placing the left hand to the heart, right hand on top, palms facing in, just with the fingertips nice and wide, with the thumbs touching, closing the eyes. Whether you're just coming into this practice or whether you're rolling on from last week's practice, so you might have moved from child's pose up to sitting, just to come back to an element of grounding, honouring that we're, we need that foundation to root to rise, to find that movement. It's also honouring that element of Aquarius, the rebel, having that element of freedom so we can find that foundation and then make up our own rules as it were. So we're going to add on, amend or tweak part of the sequence we did last week. So moving into tabletop. Inhaling, we can lift the chin, lift the tailbone. Exhaling, lifting into downward facing dog. Stepping the feet together. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, bend the knee, right, push the right foot over to the left as we look up at the right arm. Inhale, scoop the knee into the belly, pull the shoulders forward, knee to belly point. Exhale, lifting back and up, down dog splits. Pause as you inhale. Exhale, lower right foot to left. Inhale, lower down into tabletop, lifting the chin, lifting the tailbone, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, bend the knee, exhale, open the hip, push left foot to right. Inhale, knee to belly plank. Exhale, down dog splits. Pause as you inhale. Exhale, left foot to right. Inhale into tabletop. Inhale, lifting the chin, lifting the tailbone. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, open the hip. Inhale, knee to belly plank. Exhale, down dog split. Pause as you inhale. Exhale, right foot to left, downward dog. Inhale, Tabletop, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, open the hip, push the left foot to the right, lift under the left arm. Inhale, knee to belly plank. Exhale, down dog splits. Inhale, pause. Exhale, left foot to right. Inhale into tabletop, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. Last round on each side. Exhale, down the dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, open the hip as you bend the knee. Inhale, knee to belly plank. Exhale, down dog splits. Pause as you inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale into tabletop, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. 
Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, knee to belly plank. Inhale, knee to belly plank. On an exhale, lower. Inhale into tabletop. And exhale all the way down into your child pose. Have a breath. Before you work to sitting, if you read the description, then you'll need a couple of blocks. If you didn't, do feel free to pause this video and grab a couple of blocks or use something that you can support yourself. So you might have a couple of books stacked up just to give yourself a little extra height. Just placing them around the middle of your mat. So we're going to need these to help support us at least to start with. After a few rounds of working with this sequence, you might feel that you don't need the blocks, but at least have them there to have them nearby so it's better to have them there and not use them rather than need them and then come out of the sequence so we're adding on from this sequence so from your tabletop inhale lift the chin and the tailbone exhale lifting into down dog inhale right leg lifts exhale bend the knee open the hip inhale into your knee to belly plank and step the right foot in between the hands Give a nudge if you need to and place the left knee down. So make sure the knee is behind rather than underneath the hip. Drawing the hips forward, lift the chin. And on an exhale, pull the hips back to start to straighten the right leg. So keep the tailbone lifted. Bring the blocks in. And you're gently pulling your leg up into your hips. You're activating the hip flexor and the glutes. Not pushing to strain down into the blocks. So let your right heel lift off of the mat. Then maybe for half a breath, a whole breath, a couple of breaths, when you're ready, lower back down. And you might have a few goes of lifting and lowering, but we're helping to let the hamstrings on that right leg relax. So eventually we might be able to move a little bit deeper into our full Ardha Hanuman, so our half splits. So as we lower the heel down, we might see if we can hinge forward at the hips, we can move the blocks out of the way as we take the hands closer to the foot or the ankle and starting to fold closer to the leg. So whilst we do change sides, you might notice a difference right side, left side. You might find that you didn't need the blocks on this side, but you might on the other side. So do keep them to hand. Inhale, pull forward, low lunge with the chin. Tuck under the left toes, lift the left knee. As you exhale, Slide that right leg back and up, down dog split. Hold as you inhale, exhale, right foot to left. Inhale, into tabletop. Lift the chin, lift the tailbone. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, open the hip. Inhale, knee to belly plank. Place the left foot in between the hands, go and if you need to, place the right knee down. Draw the hips forward, lift the chin, low lunge. Exhaling, draw the hips back, keep them high so you're not trying to sit down on the tailbone. Bring the blocks in, lift up nice and tall, and we're seeing if we can draw the left leg in towards the hip. So you're activating hip flexors and the glutes on that side. Lift. Lower down whenever you need to. You might do this once, twice, or three times. And you might be trying to fold forward so you can move the blocks out of the way, bringing the hands closer towards the top of the mat, gently bending the elbows, maybe forehead finds the knee. So checking in, don't strain into the hamstrings. As you inhale, pull the body forward, lift the chin. Tuck under the right toes, lift the right knee. Exhale, slide that left leg back and up, down dog splits. Pause as you inhale. Exhale, left foot to right. Inhale, tabletop, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, open the hip. Inhale, knee to belly plank. Place that right foot down, left leg lowers. 
knee behind rather than underneath the hip. Into your low lunge, lift the chin, lift the chest. On an exhale, drawing back into the Arahana Manasana, half splits. Use the blocks. So the blocks are there to keep you high. You're still folding forward, so we're not all the way up here. We want to make sure that we're leaning forward, so we're activating a little bit into those hamstrings. And it's a little tiny lift. So we're not flailing the leg around. Little tiny lift. You can lift and lower. We might stay here, or we might have another go. Move that forward fold. So you're drawing the belly towards the thigh. Letting the head relax. On an inhale, draw forward, low lunge. Exhale, slide that right leg back and up, down dog splits. Pause here as you inhale. Exhale, lower that right foot. Inhale, tabletop, lift the chin, little tailbone. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, knee to belly plank. Place the left foot down, do a nudge if you need to. Bring the right knee onto the mat behind the hip. Draw the hips forward, lift the chin, low lunge. Draw back into that half splits, Adha Hanumanasana. Using the blocks. So we've got a slight lift, but we're still starting to fold forward, hinging at the hips. Lift the heel, lower down whenever you need to, you might do one, or two lifts, maybe three, lower down, placing the blocks out of the way, and folding. Inhale, into low lunge, lifting that right knee as you exhale, slide the left leg back and up, down dog splits. Pause as you inhale, exhale, left leg lowers, inhale into tabletop. One more each side, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, knee to belly plank. Place the right foot down, left knee lowers, into that low lunge. Exhale, into that half splits, you might be checking in. Do we need to use the blocks or can we get that lift and lower? We might have to go over once without the blocks and just check in the difference. We'll be having a go with that last forward fold here on this side. And then inhale, low lunge. Lifting the left knee, exhale, slide the right leg back and up, down dog splits. Pause as you inhale, exhale, lower the right foot, inhale into tabletop, lift the chin, lift the tailbone, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, left leg lifts, exhale, open the hip, inhale, knee to belly plank, placing that left foot down, bring the right knee down, lift the chin, lift the chest, draw the hips forward, low lunge, exhale, pull back, half splits. And again, checking in, do you need to use the blocks? Can we do one lift without the blocks? Or notice the difference? Is there a little bit more control? Last one, trying that forward fold. Inhale, low lunge on the hips forward. Lifting the right knee as you exhale, slide the left leg back and up, down dog splits. Pause as you inhale, exhale, left foot to right, inhale into tabletop, and exhale into child's pose. Otherwise, we can stay in child's pose. We might be moving into savasana. We might have a go with a couple of other practices that are linked here. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Namaste.